What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and install of these Op7 lightings I got off of Amazon. They're uh, RGBs in an aluminum casing. Pretty uh, cool looking. So uh, let's take them out and then uh, we'll go install them on the RV. So we just cut the end of the tube off. See what we got. So we got some little clips, fuse holders, cigarette lighter plug, power cable. I'm guessing the lights are in here. Nice little remote. And the QR code of how to install it. Some plastic clips. And I guess this would be the brain behind it. Let's open it up. More tie wraps. I guess they're kind of stuck a little bit together. And uh, in the kit, you get two 48 inch lights and two, 30, and two 36s. So I bought two kits. I'm gonna be using all the 48s on my uh, truck, on my custom steps I built. There'll be a video on that later. And the uh, 36s are gonna be going on the RV. So, I mean, they do look pretty cool. And they're in a nice aluminum housing. So, uh, next stop we'll be installing them on the RV and uh, we'll get them wired up and see how they work. All right, so this is the morning after. I installed them late last night because we got a camping trip today. But I'll walk you through the steps of what I did on this trailer and uh, some of the clips that I didn't like that came with the lights here. So here I have a light, that's uh, one of the ones that's going to go on the truck, but they're the same. They're just bigger. They came with these uh, little clips. They're very, very small and have a very tiny little screw. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. So what I did, I got these from uh, Home Depot that I've had for a while. Little self-tappers. But they didn't fit through the end of the light here. So I drilled this hole out and the hole on the other side. With the other side you got to be careful because the wire comes right close to the hole. So you just got to bend the wire out of the way. And that's what I did for the ends. And then for the middle I just drilled a hole into the bottom. It has like an L uh, angle iron down there. Drilled a hole and tie wrapped it in the middle. I'll show you now. So there you see the one side screw there. And then as you go down it, you got a tie wrap right here with a hole drilled into it. And then you keep going down. And you see the other screw there. And it's nice and tight. Nothing moves around anymore. I got uh, all the cables and boxes tie wrapped together. And they all go here. Uh, just so you know, it says this has to be mounted inside, but uh, none of my wires really would have reached to where the only place I could have mounted it. So I don't think I get that wet here. Maybe I'll make a cover that goes over here. There's two brackets that I put a little cover on there to help keep that dry. And this wire that crosses here is the one that goes to the battery, and I'll show you where that goes. So here's where I have the wires coming in. I made this trailer, so uh, the wiring might be the prettiest, but wire comes uh, through the hole here, which is a vent for the AC, and where all the wires come in through the, from the bottom of the trailer. Comes up here and goes in this hole 
which goes to the fuse box inside the trader and the negative goes straight to the back. Well, that's it for this video. We made it out here to the Sandlot Off-Road Park. They got a New Year's Eve event going on. We're gonna be riding all weekend. And uh, see you next video.